Hello everyone and welcome to the in-depth overview for the SWC Diver Mark II. We are very excited about these. If you have not received uh, the newsletter, uh, let me know. Again, I sent one out uh, about an hour ago, the final update before the release. Let me know if you haven't received that and I will be sure to get it to you and make sure that you're on the list because the final notification for these going up to be purchased is going out uh, in under 24 hours. So we're going to go over everything here uh, with these pieces. And also, before I get started, I want to make a note. In that newsletter I did send, there was a typo. Uh, the price will not be increasing, I'm doing air quotes, uh, to 345 with just the strap. That will be 445 uh, Sorry about that if there was confusion. Thank you to all of you who reached out and notified me. So before we get into the colorways, let's get into the specs. Right now I have all of the pieces on their strap, their integrated strap. I'll be showing them on the bracelet as well. So here I have the, the slate gray or slate model as I have it listed on the site. Uh, the specs for this and all the pieces are will be identical to the original Gen 1 diver. And that is... Uh, just over 13 millimeters thick, 44 in, uh, millimeter diameter, 49 lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug opening. Uh, so very uh, wearable. The lug to lug is relatively short. And for those of you who have the original diver, this is going to wear exactly the same. With the exception of with this being on the strap, and uh, let me... Let me take off my sport watch and show you. Uh, with this being on the strap, they will be much more wearable. And let me show you how that works. So it is integrated, uh, integrated strap, integrated to the case. These are stainless steel clasps. Uh, you just slide them in there. And these will, I have a seven and a half inch wrist, so I'm gonna have to go a little bit more than that. Uh, and these will also fit on any of the Gen 1 divers. We, we made sure of that. So if you have a Gen 1 diver, these will fit. Let me get the crown in. There we go. Uh, this model here is one I'm very excited about. The gray, that's a little tight, but not too bad. I could probably go down one more. So here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, wears very well uh, on the strap. Uh, the bracelet, as I'll show, it uh, the end link pops out a little. So even though the lug to lug is 49, the bracelet takes that out a bit because that. Uh, that link that goes into the case does not flex, but uh, very nice sun burst dial. All of the models will have a sun ray dial with the exception of the black dials. So there's the dimensions out of the way and the strap. And just for a point of reference, here's the original, the Gen 1 diver on a blue strap. We will have these straps available. I'll be doing a full video on these straps at another date. Uh, for now, I'm going to focus on the divers. So let's uh, let's do the slate gray. Uh, first off, the dial, let me get this up closer, is an anthracite gray sunburst. The loom, you can't see it in this uh, video very well, but the index markers are a light blue. It's the same as the Gen 1 diver to match with the gray. The bezel is a black ceramic with polished raised portions and the loom pip is also a light blue to match the index markers. So there's the first colorway down. Now let's move on to the light brown. Let's have the the black take its place there. So here we have the light brown model. This model, of all the models, plays with the light in the most interesting ways. The color varies uh, pretty, pretty significantly depending on what light you have it in. 
and uh, it's it's really really something to see a really unique color one you don't see too often uh, similar to the slate gray model uh, this has a sunburst uh, dial and uh, the indices are c3 superluminova one thing i didn't mention on the gray is uh, this is also uh, superluminova I, it's a light blue is is the name and all of the mark two divers will have x1 grade super luminova so the the performance of the glow will be quite significant again you can't see it super well in the video but with these being c3 there is a yellowish green uh, hint to the index markers as well as the loom pip and hands and the ceramic bezel on this is a light brown uh, almost copper color sometimes it, it almost looks like a like a, a burgundy in certain light it, it really does play with the light in really interesting ways really a beautiful dial uh, right now I have it on the uh, brown strap we will have a uh, a strap to match the color better in the, in about 10 days that I, I will be posting but uh, you can you can take your pick when the time comes. I'll reach out to all of you who order this one, and uh, you can make your choice. Uh, but here it is on the wrist again, seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, wears really really well. Uh, my brother Jacob, he has a six inch wrist. He wears his on a bracelet. I imagine on the strap it would fit even better. But it, it really wears phenomenally. It, it uh, these uh, they they look really good with that that sunray dial. And the sunray dial really complements the reflection you get off the raised polished markers on the the bezel, the the polished ceramic. So it really plays with the light well. Uh, we're, we're really happy with how these turned out. So let's move on to everybody's favorite, the blue. This was far and away our most uh, our most popular model uh, with the Gen One. Uh, one of the differences between this and the Gen 1 is, uh, well, right off the bat, the Sunray dial. Uh, let me get this strap on. Probably should have got these on before the video, but I really wanted to demonstrate how they, they look laid out. So, one, you have the Sunray dial. Gone is the square marker. Also, you'll notice the loom is no longer that pastel blue. It is now, uh, it, it's not BGW9. It, it, for all intents and purposes, it might as well be because it appears the same. It's white in daylight and it glows blue. But to my knowledge, BGW9 cannot be done in X1 grade. So this is a, uh, I can't remember the exact name, a white blue uh, superluminova, but it glows incredibly well. Having the white index markers versus the pastel blue uh, really brings a lot of contrast, makes it more of a classic blue diver. Uh, it gives it more of a, just a classic look, high contrast, excellent legibility, and of course, excellent loom. And let's get this one on the wrist. So there it is. I never, I never wore the blue. My dad, he, he wore the blue, but I always wore the green, but that looks, it looks cool quite nice uh, with the sunray and the polished markers there really turned out well uh, but the ceramic it's the exact same uh, bezel insert as was on the gen 1 the blue ceramic so those of you who are familiar with the blue not a whole lot has changed here uh, just some slight aesthetic differences from the gen 1 model now, the black. Uh, this is another one that was very popular. I'm actually going to go over the black and the black and orange at the same time. I don't actually have any black and orange samples in with me. I do have some images as well as images of the dials that I sent out in the newsletter. Uh, those are on their way to Germany and Switzerland as we speak and will begin assembly very soon. But here is the black. The black and the black orange. Uh, are the only two without a sunray dial. This is just a matte dial, very clean look. Uh, 
really aesthetically the only thing that has changed between this and the Gen 1 is the square pattern on the dial is gone and the loom is no longer C1. We weren't especially impressed with the performance of the C1 Superluminova on the original diver. It was still excellent because there were 20 layers of it, but for 20 layers, it, it, it could have been better. So we've upgraded this to the same exact loom that is on the blue uh, Mark II. So this will now glow blue. And it is, of course, X1 along with all the others. And here, that one is on the wrist. So matte dial. Uh, the only light play you're going to get here is from the case and the raised markers on the bezel, which are polished ceramic. And last but not least, we have the dark brown. Now, I'm, I'm really torn between this one and the light brown. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them uh, up here next to each other so you can just see exactly how they compare. But the dark brown, it's also, still got some plastic on there. It's also sun ray, but it's very subtle. Uh, you can actually you can see it there uh, a little bit, but indoors a lot of times it will it will appear matte uh, because of how subtle it is. It still looks very nice. Uh, this will also have C3 Superluminova X1 grade, similar to the light brown. So uh, this honestly, in my opinion, the C3 glows slightly stronger than the light blue Superluminova. But in terms of that, that's only in comparison with uh, another Mark II diver. In comparison to essentially any other watch out there, these are going to blow them out of the water. I mean, 20 layers of X1 grade Superluminova. Uh, these are going to take the cake in uh, just about every comparison out there. I would love to see a watch that, uh, that can take these on as that's how we improve and raise the bar. In fact, the reason we upgraded to X1 Superluminova is because of a loom comparison. In a relative time, if you're watching, your loom comparison was essentially what planted the seed to take our loom from excellent to a point where I don't know how we can improve it past what we have. So thank you for that uh, competition in the micro brand space is excellent as it does a good job of ensuring we improve going forward. So here's the dark brown on the wrist and I'll get the light brown up as well. Like you can see the, the slight subtle sun ray, the dark brown, uh, th this one similar to the light, it plays with the light in interesting ways and it will actually change the shade of color uh, to it almost a, a deep burgundy in certain lights because for those of you who are familiar with uh, uh, color scales, there is some red in brown, and depending on how the light hits it, that red will come out. You can kind of see it in this a little bit. Uh, but uh, let's get the, the light brown up here so we can compare them. So there they are, the two browns, light and dark chocolate. So it's going to be really hard for me to choose personally between these two because I think uh, they match my skin tone the best. Uh, I'm probably strange for even thinking about something like that, but uh, but it's going to be one of these two for me. I always pick I always pick one diver to wear out of the bunch. The last one was the green that I wore faithfully, and this one it's going to be one of these two. So I'm going to take a break in the video. I'm going to throw all of these on the bracelet and we're going to go over the finishing of the case as well as the bracelet clasp. And then immediately after that, we will get into a loom shot. Okay, we are back and on the bracelet. I'm just going to go through the pieces one by one, starting with the light brown. Those of you who are familiar with our bracelet, uh, on the Gen 1, nothing's changed here. It's exactly the same. Uh, so you'll be getting these nice links, solid links, of course, and they will be brushed with uh, polished chamfered edges on the center links, 
I'll also get into the the brushing on the case. Let me let me wipe this off a bit. It's a little smudge from me changing the the bracelet. And let's get that into focus. There we go. So really fine brushing on the case. Uh, you have polished bevels, uh, not only on the bezel, but you also have polishing along the lugs that pair really nicely with the polish of the bracelet. And for those of you who also have ordered from us, know, you know that we don't mess around when it comes to bracelets. Now I have, I have a, fairly, a fairly large hand. Uh, my, my palm's pretty big. And uh, without even opening the clasp, I can slide that right on there. So looks really nice on the bracelet on my seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, the, one of the main reasons for these overviews is really just to show you guys what you're getting. We want you to enjoy your watch uh, more than you do, probably. So uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. These links, uh, the male center link here, uh, it does shoot out a bit. Obviously not a ton. As you can see, it still wears really well on my seven and a half inch wrist. And again, my brother has a six inch wrist. We have many customers in uh, with that wrist size who enjoy their watches very much, but just something uh, to be aware of when ordering the bracelet. But that's what it looks like on the bracelet. Here is the clasp. It is solid uh, steel and uh, not only that, but it does adjust on the fly to five positions. Uh, it might be more than five actually. It's, it's an ample amount of positions. So we have yet, I, I frequently get people asking, uh, can I order extra links? I have large wrists. We have yet to find someone who needs extra links in their bracelet. We, we, provide, we provide an ample amount of links, as you can see. Uh, there's, there's a lot of metal on this thing. So uh, there will be plenty of links for you. So now I'm just going to go through the list here, show all the pieces off on the bracelet so you can see what they look like. Here is the slate show it on my wrist looks really nice and, and some of these uh, pieces they it changes the look quite a bit when they're on the bracelet uh, for example this one I I it it's up there with one of my favorites on the bracelet we have the classic blue looks good great on the bracelet as well and there that is on my wrist, really nice. I like this one quite a lot as well. I, I like all of them, but uh, uh, contrary to what many might think, being a micro brand owner does not mean you just get to wear uh, watches because as the saying goes, uh, somebody has to pay for it. So whether whether I, uh, uh, we pay for them or not. If if we wear them, we pay for it because then it's no longer usable once we wear it around. So there's the dark brown on my wrist. Uh, looks really nice. I don't know. I might I might have to go with this one. That might have to be the one. And then last but not least, we have the black here. Just a really just classic look. And there that is on the wrist. So looks great. There's those. Now let's see if we can get a loom shot. Oh, and before I forget, uh, this is the case. These will be coming in. Again, something uh, you will all be familiar with who, who have ordered from us before. Let me open this up. Uh, so here we have a spot for one watch. This is where the warranty card goes. Uh, the warranty is good for three years. It is international. And on the warranty card, there will be taped two curved spring bars. One thing to note about these short lugs is that means that 
straps, uh, a lot of straps, they won't go on with straight bars. So we provide curved spring bars so you can put on a NATO strap or whatever other strap you might have. And then underneath here, you have a room for two more watches. Uh, that's that's encouraged. If you want to buy more, hey, we'll, we'll make that very possible for you. And then you have room for uh, tools as well. So that is the package you get. Nice little travel case. Also has a, a zipper up here to put things. So last but not least, let's get into the finale, the loom. Uh, I'm going to move locations because the room I'm in uh, has a window that is, uh, oh, bumped the camera there, has a very bright window behind me that will not allow me to get a very good uh, loom shot. I'm trying not to touch these because if I do, my dad's going to watch this. He's going to say something because I don't want to scratch these cases. They are still new. Now let's see if I can get them all. I don't know if I can get them all. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to take this into the other room here carefully and we will get a loom shot for you. All right, turns out I didn't need to move. Uh, these these glow bright enough to work just fine. I just had to draw back the curtain. So here is the loom for you. Uh, as you can see, they all glow blue with the exception of the two brown models. And they glow, I, mean, I, think, I think the C3 just might be a little more potent uh, as far as brightness, but when it comes to longevity, they should perform exactly the same. One thing I forgot to mention, and I'll, I'll, I think it'd be kind of cool to show that here, is the movement these are running, uh, SW200 is the movement, so you have uh, hacking and winding, uh, and the date window is at three. But that, about wraps it up. Uh, the loom is something we're very proud of. You are going to love the loom. It's exceptionally strong. And uh, I believe, is this the black? Yeah, that's the black. Uh, so here, let's get that into focus. Uh, here's the black, now glowing blue. I think that actually complements the, the design better than the green. And as I mentioned before, although the original black uh, loom was excellent and, and still is excellent. These should be uh, a step above. Uh, so you all you all should enjoy that. Oh, and also one more thing to note is that the second hand on the orange and black model will not be loomed. The loom we had on the original, it glowed, but not very well. So we just decided to uh, do away with it. Just, just make it orange. And there is the dark brown, I believe. Yep, that's the dark brown. And uh, it's honestly not, it's not that dark in, in this room. Dark enough to not see color, but definitely not that dark. Uh, so, and these are still going strong. So I am excited for you guys to experience this loom. For those of you who own the first, uh, there won't be a, a mark difference. Uh, for those of you who have never had one of our divers, you're in for a treat. These, these things really glow. Uh, but that is everything. So thank you guys for watching this overview. If you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask in the comments. And for those of you who are watching on November 19th or early in the morning, if you're in the USA on November 20th, I will see you guys at the pre-order. And uh, thank you again for watching.